everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope today finds you doing well and I hope you are enjoying uh, the weather wherever you might be. It's beautiful here in New York State. Uh, loving every minute of this summer time. Lord knows it doesn't last long here. <laughs> So anyways, guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Deidre, D for short, and I am an avid thrifter, reseller, and YouTuber. Uh, I mostly sell on YouTube and eBay, and I have started recently selling on Mercari. Um, I haven't listed the link for my Mercari yet because I don't really have enough inventory in there as of yet. But anyways, um, but I will leave all the links to that stuff in the description box of this video. So welcome to anyone who is new here. Uh, I hope you'll consider subscribing and becoming part of my nutty little family here. We do have a lot of fun on my channel. All right, what do I have today? Uh, I do have a Salvation Army and a Goodwill Thrift Haul. This is from last, uh, last week. Uh, the Goodwill is from last Tuesday. Uh, I get my senior citizen discount on Tuesdays there, which is 25%. And uh, Salvation Army, they have um, three different color tags that are the specials of that week. So two colors are 50% off, and then the third color uh, the items with that color are 99 cents. So, with that being said, we're going to get into this thrift haul. Um, I have quite a bit, so I think, I think I'll do Goodwill first. Um, I spent a total of $102. And I saved... Thirty-one fifty with my senior discount. So, if you're uh, if you are new here, let me just say that I don't give individual prices of everything. <coughs> I don't think it's necessary. I just give you the overall total of what I spent on everything. All right, let me get a sip of my sparkling water here so I don't start really choking. <laughs> okay, first things first. This I thought was a really unique item and I thought it would look beautiful with uh, some fairy lights up inside of it. It is a beautiful lavender periwinkle-ish color and it is um, the Virgin Mary. Uh, and she's on this pretty uh, glass, ped you know, um, base, not pedestal. Um, and there is enough room in here to put some fairy lights. And I just, I had never seen anything like this. And I don't know if she actually came on top of something at one point. You could also set her on top of a light base. Um, they sell them on Amazon. Uh, most of the time, I'll find mine at the thrift stores um, when they do the bags of stuff. So I thought she was real pretty. So you know me, I couldn't stand it. I had to go get a light base so I could show you how pretty that looks with, with lights up underneath it. And I also brought out some fairy lights. So I'm going to stick a few of these up here so you guys can see that as well. So I only, I only put a few in there, but I wanted you guys to get the idea. So I thought she was very pretty. All right, moving on. Um, now I got to find some place to put this stuff. <laughs> Um, so normally I don't film in this spot. Uh, I forgot to mention that. I recently bought a beautiful 
kitchen table and chairs for $60. As a matter of fact, I'll show it to you. Sophie's laying on it. <laughs> beautiful, solid wood. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. So anyhow, my other kitchen table that was there is what I'm at right now. <laughs> so I just figured I'm not going to pull the table out and all that when I have a table I could sit at right here. Um, I'm in the process of moving it out of here. So I might as well use it while it's sitting, you know? <laughs> so now that you know that, a lot of useless information, but whatever. Okay. Then I got this. This is Three Crown China, Germany. Isn't that a beautiful dish? There is the, the mark. And I just could not pass this up. I think this is beautiful. So there is that. I'm going to set it. I don't know where I'm going to set it. Right here. Um, I got this because I do have some clown lovers. So clown alert, y'all. I know some people, I'm not a big fan of clowns. There are certain ones that I don't mind, okay? But, you know, like Pennywise and those, you know, the clown from um, Poltergeist, I could do without. But this guy, he's, he's like a hobo clown. Look at how cute. He's got his little suitcase and he's got his bottle of, um, of wine and he's musical. I couldn't figure out what the song was. Um, he's made in Taiwan. I have no idea what that song is. So if y'all could leave it in the just in the just just the, 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 the comment section, not the description box, the comment section, I would appreciate it. So it's going to play now until it, until it unwinds. But I thought he was awesome. I had to grab him. Now, I did buy um, a few things to upcycle. So, for the new people here, I do buy thrifted items and I upcycle them and, and give them some new life. So, I did buy this little box. It is just a little, you know, I guess you put memorabilia in here or whatever. Um... It might have came with like pens and pencils. I have no idea. But I picked that up to um, to upcycle. And same with this. I'm going to probably um, add some rub-on transfers or something on here. This is, this is screaming farmhouse to me. So I will probably do something like that with, um, with this box. So I got that. And I also got this, let me set this over here before I knock it on the floor. I also got this fantastic recipe box. So um, I could leave it as is, but I'm thinking I'm going to paint it like an off-white and then I'm gonna sand where all of this is so you could see where it says recipes. I think it's gonna look really fantastic. So that's my plan. We'll see what happens. Cause I, sometimes I get there and I put it in front of me and I change my mind. So I don't know, but so we got that. I'm gonna have to set stuff on the floor guys cause I don't have any room on the table. 
And I also picked up these um, to upcycle as well. So these are metal, these are metal signs. There's this one, and there is this one. Now, I love them. I think they're very pretty, but I wanna do something else here. Probably a rub-on transfer. Um, I'm not sure what yet, but I will do both of them and sell them together as a pair. And they do hang um, in, the, in this fashion. So, yes. Um, I, I really, I don't even, I mean, if this wasn't painted on here, I wouldn't even paint these. I would leave them as they are. But because this is here, I have to, I'm going to have to paint them. But that's okay. I don't mind. I do not mind one bit. All right, I can set those, that over there, and this can go over here too, because that's all gonna go downstairs to my craft room. All right, I also got this wall pocket. This is uh, made in Italy, and I just love this. This is a very nice size. It's got your two, um, your hanging holes in the back. And you could put a beautiful plant in here and it would look fabulous. I absolutely love this. Let me show you up close. I think this is one of my favorite things from, well, I don't know, I got a lot of favorite things. <laughs> what can I say? Um, I did find this. This is a, a, a Germany piece. I found this little nutmeg jar. Now it would have it would have had a bunch of other you know spice jars that went with it, but I only could find the one. And I just thought it was cute to put in the kitchen. You could put anything in here, you know, toothpicks or whatnot. Um, so I just picked it up. It's an old piece, and there is the Germany mark on the bottom. Um, it's got a lot of crazing. Has a little chip on the side. Don't mind the paint, I was crafting. <laughs> so I picked up that. Now, not long ago, I found a piece um, that goes with this one. But they're made by two different companies. The one that I bought a while ago, I thought was made by the company that made this one, but it was a different company. This is a Nesco. Now y'all remember, y'all remember the canisters and you know, all that stuff. The, I had a set that I bought at a yard sale and it was, olive greens, yellows, oranges, you know, the 70s colors, right? They also made them in this blue and green. And I had to grab it. This is, uh, I'm sorry, this is Anarco, not a Nesco, Anarco. But I had to pick this up. I, I just, I know, um, I can't, I'm trying to remember what the other piece was that I picked up. And I can't remember offhand, but hopefully the person that bought it will want, might want this piece to go with it. So I did pick that up. And then I picked up this pair. Um, they're not marked, but they're beautiful. Look at these, you guys. And there's no chips or cracks, no crazing on these beautiful pair of vases. I love these. I love the design right there along the top. Oh boy, these are cool. These would look beautiful up on a mantle. Mm -mm -mm. 
They are so pretty. Like I said, they're not marked, so I don't know who makes them, but they are they are very, very pretty. Um, I also got this bag full of laces. This is, I mean, there is a ton of lace in here for crafting. So I picked it up. I mean, there's a lot in here, guys. Look at this. Look at, look at how beautiful this lace is. Look at, this one is pretty. It's got pink. There's all, all kinds in here. Eyelet lace. I, I just, there's so much in here, guys. It would take me 10 years to go through it. But, you know, this lace is not cheap, okay? So, I had to grab this bag. Had to grab it. So, yes, I mean, you can see there are all kinds of laces in this bag. So, there's that. The rest of the stuff I got will be such a surprise to you all. Yeah, I actually picked up some purses. I know, I know. I hardly ever pick up purses. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm the purse whisperer, okay? So let me start with this one. This one has its original tags on it. How cute is this purse? It's like a straw. Look at brand spanking new. Oh my word. And it's got this wonderful long chain. You could wear it as a crossbody. I love it. Love it. Then I got this one. This is a stone mountain. And let me tell you guys, these purses are in fantastic condition. I don't normally, I will not buy the purse unless it's in excellent condition. Um, it's got, the majority of the time, it's got to be nice and clean on the inside. Um... I will make an exception if I if I know I'm able to clean it, you know. Um, but I mean, beautiful, beautiful. It's got a zipper pocket and a bunch of pouches. It's got two sections. It's got a magnetic clasp and a zipper. And I love the black and the cream. That's a nice one. I like that one. All right. Then I got this one. This is a fossil. Just a nice plain black. Long strap for crossbody. It's got a zipper pouch here. Nice and clean. Got a zipper closure on the top. It has a zipper um, uh, pouch here and then another pocket there. And it is clean as a whistle. This purse is beautiful. Even the bottom is fantastic. That's a nice purse. Then I got this Vera Bradley laptop um, bag. It's in excellent condition. Beautiful. 
So I picked that up. Now, I think this is a diaper bag, but I love it. I mean, it is so clean in here. Look it. I'm pretty sure it is a diaper bag, but I think this would make a great travel bag. Well, there goes my one item. I just broke it. Look at the colors and the beautiful, like, paisley pattern on this. It's got nice handles like this. Now, it is missing the, um, the long strap that would hook on to these little um, hooks, but that's all right. That's all right. Uh, this is, like, clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. Uh, it's got zipper pouches on each end, and it's by made by Lodrid. Um, oh, wait a minute. Maybe that strap is in here. Let me look. That would be awesome. No, it's not. But it's got all kinds of little pockets in here. So... Love this bag. Let me check this. Oh, here's another packet. Maybe it's in there. Nope. Well, dang. I thought I would get lucky and find the strap. It's not in these ones. This thing has packets for days. In here? No. Well, dang it all. Oh, well, that's all right. That is okay. I love this bag. Absolutely love it. And the last item is this purse. Now, I I love Nine West purse purses, but they haven't been selling much for me. But I really like this one. Look at this one, guys. Look at this purse. This purse is in like new condition. It is fantastic. I love this. It makes me want to carry a bigger purse. <laughs> but I won't. I mean, it's beautiful. Absolutely in like new condition. Such a wonderful um, purse. Love it. So, that is my self, no, that is my Goodwill part of this thrift haul. Now, we're going to move on over to Salvation Army. So, I'm waiting in about eight minutes, this one item should go off and I can show it to you. Hopefully it doesn't scare the bejeebers out of me when it goes off because I'm going to forget about it, you know. Hey, forget about it. All right. So I will show you the thing that fell on the floor. I knew it was broken. One of the little bells was broken when I bought it, but I was going to keep it for myself. So I just said I'll glue it, you know. So I did. I just glued it. And now I dropped it on the floor. This is Avon. And it's this little, well, now it's all tangled. Well, you can see it's a little, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess right now. So it is this cute little, wind chime and this is the bell that was broken so I'll just re-glue it but I loved like it looks like mercury glass and I just thought it was so cute so I bought it anyways so anyways there it is so I will be re-gluing that let me pick up the other piece of the bell Okay, so that was item number one from Salvation Army. 
Um, I'll tell you what I spent um, when I'm done with the, with the haul. Then I found this vintage book. It's called Jesus's Alphabet for Religious. Uh, compiled by the Daughters of St. Paul. Look at this book. And on the back, it says Litho in USA. But it has like, oh, somebody has the How to Pray the Rosary was, was in here. So I will leave this in here. But um, it has like, H is for hope. I know whom I have believed, and I am certain that he is able to guard the trust committed to me against that day. Um, N for neighbor. And then it talks all about the neighbor. O for obedience. I just think it was, I just thought it was a beautiful book. So I picked that up. You know how I am with my religious stuff. Speaking of, I got this. This is a beautiful St. Francis planter. Look at this. He's in perfect condition. No cracks, chips, no crazing. Um, and this is uh, Napco 1961. There is crazing on the bottom. Um, but, I mean, he is in fabulous condition. Loved him. And then there was this little candle. Someone had this candle um, sitting inside. So, yes, beautiful. I got a set of four. These are hand-blown little juice glasses. Set of four. Look how pretty those are. You can see, look at the pontal marks. Look at that. These are awesome. So I got all four. Love the blue color. Picked those up. Found a pair of vintage um, ladies gloves still in their original package. How cool are these? They're called embraceable gloves. And there are still the original um, tickets on them. Look at that. Very cool. They're white. I found this and I just thought she was beautiful. She reminds me of someone from like um, Holland or something like that. I don't know why, but look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? She's got her hair with a with a braid. Um now she is Ronin made in Italy. I don't know what the heck that says. Yeah, forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> um, but there is her her um, back stamp. And I just thought she was beautiful. Look at her face. Isn't she pretty? <sighs> really like her. Oh, this clock's going to go off in a minute.
Isn't that awesome? So every hour it will go off and play a different tune. And this is an Avon piece. I have the box for it right here. Love it. It's got the instructions and everything in here. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get that. I love it. I think it's fantastic. It is fantastic. So, but I will have to take the batteries out so that it doesn't go off every hour while I'm sleeping because, um, I don't think I'm going to really like that. <laughs> but yeah, it is beautiful. Let's put it back in here for now. I'll forget about it and it'll go off tonight. And it'll give me a heart attack. Um, I got this. You know how I am with my cocktail stuff, guys. I have some amazing 50s and 60s barware but it doesn't seem to be selling. So what do I do? I buy another, but this cocktail shaker is so cool. Look at the color. OMG, I love it. It looks like brand new. I had to get it. I had to get it. I know somebody will want this. I think this is killer, so. Then I got this. This is so stinking cute. Look at this little coffee pot with the snowman. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Now this is, this is not for use. This was a Teleflora um, item. It is not dishwasher safe. So this would just be a decor piece, but how cute is that to put in your kitchen at Christmas time or for winter in general? I love that. That is adorable. I also found uh, some milk glass. You know, I don't know what the heck happened to my arm here. Like, I didn't have blood work done or anything. I just woke up, and it was purple. So, I don't know if the the vein broke or something. I don't know. It was just really weird. I woke up, and it was like that. I'm like, what the heck? But, anywho, um, I got two pairs of these beautiful uh, grape and leaf pattern taper candle holders. And both sets are in perfect condition. I just have to wash them. And I believe these are Westmoreland. And I just think they're so beautiful. You could use these at any time of year. You could change out the color of the candles you put in them for the holidays or the seasons. They're just timeless. So I got two pairs of those. And I also got, um, for my people out there that love the um, uh, Spring Blossom or Crazy Daisy um, pattern, I did find an extra dinner plate. This is Corel. And I also got the platter. If anybody needs a dinner plate or a platter, I'm your gal. And I love the color of this. Look at this amazing amber color. I believe this is Indiana glass. And it is, of course, as you can see, a divided relish dish with the fruit pattern on it. And it is in perfect shape, guys. No flea bites, no chips, no cracks. It is beautiful. 
absolutely gorgeous. I, oh my God, I cannot say enough about this color. Oh, it's very rich looking. Beautiful, beautiful color of amber. Love that. Okay, I have two items left, guys. I'm just trying to make some room so I can bring them forward. Oh. All right. These are just killer pieces. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely stunning. Um, this is not crystal. I don't believe, I don't believe it's heavy enough to be crystal, but it is just gorgeous nonetheless. Wow, that is a beauty. And like, there's no chips, flea bites. Oh, wait a minute, I lied. I just, I just looked at the feet. Both of the feet have chips. This one does, as you can see right there. And this one, and this one is a smaller a smaller chipperoonie. But who the hell's gonna notice that? You know what I'm saying? Nobody's gonna get down and say, hey, you got chips on there. And if they do, they need to get a life, okay? <laughs> There's something wrong somewhere. Now this is Crystal. This has some serious weight to it. Look at this. Look at the facets on this. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Now, I checked every piece of sawtooth on this rim. They're all in excellent condition with the exception of one. This one right here. Look at this, oh my goodness. Uh, you can't go wrong with clear glass. You cannot go wrong with it. You could put fruit in here you could put Christmas bulbs in here. You could put anything in here and it would be absolutely stunning. You know, I mean, who doesn't want stunning bananas? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, it's just gorgeous. That's all I can say. It's absolutely gorgeous. That is everything from Salvation Army. And I spent, you're not even going to believe it. I wish that Salvation Army would have more on their shelves. I really do. Uh, why they don't, I don't know. But I spent $39.04. $39.04. Compared to what I spent at Goodwill, which was, how much was it? A hundred and, uh, a hundred and two dollars. You know what I mean? And their prices just keep going up and up and up. But anyways, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this thrift haul video. Um, I did want to mention that if you see something in one of my thrift haul videos and you're interested in it, 
you need to send me an email. If you leave it in the comments, I'm not going to see it for days. And by then, it'll already be sold. Um, I get behind on my comments because I because I just do. You know, I, I have a life outside of YouTube, so I do get behind on my comments. So I have mentioned this many times before. If you are interested in an item, send me an email. I will put it right here for you. Write it down and keep it handy and send me an email and then we can discuss you know, whatever item it is. Um, if you leave it in the comments, I'm not going to see it in time. And it, it's going to end up getting sold before I see the comment. So um, anyway, guys, uh, please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And share my videos with people that you know would enjoy them. And I will catch you guys very soon. I have another video to film, but I ain't doing it today. <laughs> so I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now, guys.